Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are joined live once again by Dr. Jewel Kenny. We're excited to have her here because she's a woman of many things as an empowerment coach, doctor, uh, oh my gosh, a pastor. I mean, there's so much to your title. Would you mind introducing yourself? Thank you. Yes, I am Dr. Jewel Kenny. Uh, I am the CEO and founder of JK Personal and Professional Development. And yeah. we work with individuals and organizations and help them uh, increase retention and reduce turnover uh, to, and to increase in their productivity and uh, um, performance to achieve profitability. As well as, like you said, I am a pastor, yes. a tabernacle of life ministries located in South Orange, New Jersey, where my husband is the Bishop Keith Kenny. So what our goal is, is to work with individuals to help them fulfill their purpose, their destiny, and the greatness, the greatness that God created you to be spiritually, personally, and professionally. And all of us, right? We all and have a everyone. gift. We all have a plan. And everyone. All... And that's what I love is that, you know, we're all created with a purpose, destiny, and greatness. Yeah. And what we go through in life prepares us for it. But it's how we handle the challenges which determines our outcome. And that's why I love one of my purposes is to um, encourage and motivate and empower uh, individuals to yeah. take the limits off and to use everything they're going through to grow, to leap some bounds and to learn so they can fulfill that purpose, that destiny and that yeah. greatness spiritually, personally and professionally now. Yeah. You know, so I, you know, it's not God is not just spiritual God. Wow. He's He's concerned about our total being, total. So that's why uh, I always encourage it. You know, He gave us instructions. It's like we were created, you know, by Him. So no one's going to create something, someone, and not allow them to run wild. Yeah, yeah. He's going to when He created man, He created us. He created us. So that we can fulfill our purpose, destiny, and greatness. And he gave left instructions. And that's the B-I-B-L-E. Basic instructions uh -huh. before leaving earth. Interesting. Basic instructions before leaving earth. So we can have some direction while we're alive. Yeah. And we can be successful in this life. And, and if you don't go through no pain, guess what? There'll be no gain and there'll be no growth. Mm -hmm. So that's why today, even some of our, I would like, love to talk about today because I've been going through my series of um, internal transformation. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we were talking about was being able to live in the question. Oh, Dr. Kenny, we, you've frozen. I don't know, Monica, if you're still there, you can hear us. Hello, hello. Hello. An assessment. Oh, you broke. You just, you just were silent for about 20 seconds. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I was. Oh my goodness. I was just going on. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. And by the way, you have another no, follower uh, coming in. It looks like Annette uh, Dames is joining us as well. Okay. Great, great, great. And I was just saying that it's, this is the time we have to be able to live in a question and feel comfortable with ourselves, not knowing everything. Mm-hmm. OK, and we, sometimes we feel like we have to have all the answers to every situation, and every problem. No, you don't take that burden off of you, mm -hmm. you know, and when you take that burden off of you, you have the ability to, to be comfortable not knowing everything. Yeah. And it's OK to say, I don't know. Because why? I'm still learning. I'm still growing. Let's learn together. Mm -hmm. Let's grow together. And also to not feeling intimidated by others. And I want to stay there on for a little bit. Uh, jail because this is the end of the year mm -hmm. I said earlier I'm not sure whether they heard me or not because I froze yeah you did okay at the end of the year we need to it's time for us to assess and reassess our relationships yeah you know because why we have to can we have to let what happened in 20, 2022 yeah stay in 2022 you can't win a race looking backwards yeah if you want to win a win a race, you have to look forward. Yeah. Winners never quit and quitters never win. Mm -hmm. So we have to look forward. So we have to reassess some of relationships and you know, choose. I want to give some points of how to assess our relationships. Yeah. 
you know, and one of, you know, so I'm going to give some, a few points on how to assess our relationship so that we can go through leaps and bounds. Because yeah. many of us are, we feel obligated. So we're in relationships, even with our families, you know, they add no value. They suck the life out of you. Mm -hmm. And you spend so much time trying to build something that's not going anywhere. Yeah. And it's what we, I call them destiny stoppers. Mm -hmm. So this, you know, so we have to choose our choice of friends. Yeah. Because why? Our choice of friends affects our future. Yeah. It does. Show me your friends. I'll show you your future. Yeah. Who are you more obligated to? Mm -hmm. Yourself? Or? Nah, or people or friends? Uh -huh. I tell everyone, and I encourage everyone, your first obligation, number one, is to God. The second one is to you. Yeah. And if you don't assess that now, Guess what? You're going to keep repeating. You're going to be on a crazy cycle. I call it a crazy cycle. You know, and you're, you know, because why? You are intimidated and you're afraid to lose certain people's approval. Mm -hmm. You know, and you need them to approve and validate you and to understand, look, you know, that, that they add value to you when they really, really don't. Mm hmm. So therefore, number two, every relationship you have to what feed either your weakness or and nurtures what your strength. What relationship are you in right now? What is feeding your weakness instead of nurturing your strength? Mm -hmm. Think about that. Yeah. So this is how we, you know, and I, that's what I, said, I want to deal with this and not feeling intimidated by others and knowing when to let go. Mm hmm. Okay, well, oh, that's my daughter, that's my son, that's my husband, that's my wife. But okay, that's all well, fine, well, and good. But what value are they adding to your life? Yeah. Or are you just adding value to theirs? Relationship got to be a give and take. Yeah. When you pour out, they got to pour in. And when you pour in, they pour out. Yeah. So that 2023, uh-uh, you said, this is, I call this 2023, um, at my church, we have uh, a theme. 2022 was the year of manifestation, making yeah. things happen. 2023 is the year of harvest time. Mm -hmm. Everything you manifested in 2022, it's time to go through leaps and bounds. Take the limits off. Mm -hmm. Assess your relationships. Yeah. Stop allowing... Family, friends, children, co-workers, bosses make you feel obligated to do what they want you to do, but it adds no value to you. Mm -hmm. Reassess your life and start investing in relationships. Yeah. Where you're pouring in and they're pouring in. Yeah. You helping them grow and they're helping you grow. Yeah. Because every friendship is comfortable with what? Your presence. Yeah. Or either they're going to be compatible. That's number three. They're going to be comfortable with your presence or compatible with your future. Mm-hmm. Where do I want to go? Are you already where I want to go? So guess what? Let me, con you know, connect to you and help you get to where you want to go as you help me get to where I want to go. Yeah. That, that, I call it obligation, that old word. You have to learn to be obligated to two people, to two. Mm -hmm. God and you, that's it. And I do sure. believe, I always have a saying, I believe it because our, uh, you know, I say I'm successful the way I am because why? I always ask God to put the right people in my path at the right time, right place, and right situation. Yeah. You know, even when I'm about to make a decision, God help me make the right decision. So I will build my future and not destroy it. 
And this is why uh, today so many people are committing suicide, Jill. It's, yeah. uh, it's on a rampage. Our young people are so confused because they're not taught that God is your source. God said, he said, I will lead you and guide you into all truth. When you yeah. depend yeah. on people to guide you and lead you alone, guess what? This is where you make a lot of mistakes because yeah. we're human. So we have to think about this mm -hmm. and see where we are yeah. right now. We have, and I always say this, and I want, and I want to be known individuals to know. Yeah. Dr. Kenny always says this. Dr. Jewel always says this. We have one life to live. Ah, uh, love that. Yep. Yeah. One life to live. And we have to live it to the best of our ability, ability to fulfill the purpose and greatness God has planned for our life. There's a scripture in the Bible that states, yeah. you know, uh, Jesus, God let us know. He told us. He said, I've here prepared. He, I know that I have a plans for you. My plans for you are to prosper you, to give you hope and a future. God wants to have us have a good future. That's in the Old Testament. Then in the New Testament, mm -hmm. he tells us in John 10 and 10, he said, the enemy, the devil comes to steal, kill, and yeah. destroy. People are out here to, if you don't assess your relationship, they will take your mind. Wow. The devil will use them to take your mind, to take your emotions, you know? And 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 therefore, when they take your mind and take your emotions, guess what? It stops your destiny. Mm -hmm. It stops you from moving forward because now fear arises. Yeah. And when fear arises, guess what? It stops you. It's your, your, it stops you, what? Negotiating. You know, and 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 we're well, negotiating and um, compromising. Mm -hmm. Then, and in, in, in that verse, he said, "That's why Jesus wanted us, and that's why I love him so much." He said, "The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy," but Jesus said, "I came," and this is Christmas right now. Yeah, he was born for you and I, yeah. so we can live the abundant life with peace. He come to give us peace. Mm -hmm. Joy, happiness. Happiness, yeah. Okay? But you can't have that when you, you without him. Money does not make you happy. How many people with money commit suicide? And turn to drugs. Mm -hmm. Turn to alcohol. But Jesus said, I came to give you peace and give you what? And give you life. What? Give you what you? More. M-O-R-E. More. Abundantly. Abundantly, that means uh, over in abundance. He said, this is why I, Jesus said, I came to the earth so that you can live life more abundantly. Not when you get to heaven, but while you're here on earth. Mm -hmm. But you got to know who you are. Yeah. You got to know where your source come from. I always say, um, our job is not our source. Mm -hmm. God is our source. Our job is our resource. Wow. So it's yeah. important. Every relationship, you know, that we assess our relationships so that we not we don't get this folk, you know, unfocused. Yeah. Number four, let's talk about number four. Every relationship is a current reputation that's gonna either push you towards your assignment or move you move you away from it. Yeah. Yeah. What like, assess your relationship? Mm -hmm. What relationship are you in that's pushing you towards your assignment? Mm -hmm. or what pushing you away from it <laughs> do you have to give up something of being who you are Yeah, because you're spending so much time building everyone else and not building you fulfilling your purpose fulfilling your destiny stopping you from what living that abundance being happy having that peace and that's why I love, I love to, and I, I, jail, I tell you, I read the word of God so much. And this is why I said, uh, -uh you ain't taking my peace. Uh, uh, yeah, I make yeah. a choice. Peace is a choice. Mm -hmm. You know, and we have to make that choice. Are we going to give it away? Are we going to like, uh, uh, not today. And there's a scripture in the Bible that said the peace of God, it surpasses all understanding. And, and Jesus promised, he said, I will keep you in perfect peace. Perfect peace if you keep your mind on me. Mm -hmm. If you live in my word, if you take me at my word, perfect peace. What more can you ask for, Jill? No, you're right. Especially wow. now. Mm -hmm. 
And I just want to encourage uh, a, a lot, you know, some some of the listeners, even so many people have lost loved ones. Yeah. This year uh, and many years, uh, uh, prior years uh, uh, behind, and they can't move forward. Mm-hmm. I just want to encourage those individuals. Yeah. Stop living in the past. They're, the people, the ones that have left, uh, this season is over. And allow their memories to build you and not to destroy you. Mm-hmm. Don't stop. I'm quite sure they will not want you to stop living life. Yeah. They want you to continue living life and living your best life now. Because mm-hmm. they said, I'm gone. My time is over, but your time is still here. Yeah. So this is how you get peace. God, help me to live in the peace that you promised that I can have, the abundance. So therefore, and when you assess your relationships, you're looking at those that's going to push you in that assignment area. Mm -hmm. Okay? And let go of those that's moving you away from me. You know? So these are just some things to think about. And let go of the relationships that what? That cause you damage. Yeah. And hurt. Stop blaming Tom, Sue, Mary, Tom, Dick, and Harry. Mm-hmm. Enemies are put into our lives to build us, not to destroy us. Mm-hmm. Now, as humans, we're going to get hurt. Yeah. Okay? Cry. It's okay to cry. Yeah. You don't have to try to be strong enough to cry. Let it out. But guess what? Okay. That assignment's over. Got to go. Mm-hmm. What did I learn from this? Mm. I lost the job. I lost my home. Yeah. I lost my car. Okay, that means God got something better. Yeah. You wow. know? So this I want to encourage and leave some, you know, and always remember, you know, that some some relationships multiply our wisdom. Yeah. And some relationships will what? Take away your wisdom. Hmm. Choice is ours. Yeah. And there's one scripture in the Bible I love to use. This is how I live my life. And this is why I'm so successful because I'm so busy focusing a jail and those that are around me and mm-hmm. um the parishioners of Tabernacle of Life Ministries, which I like I said located in South Island, New Jersey. I teach them. I teach them. Let me explain. Uh-uh. Okay. Fulfill your purpose. Multiply the wisdom. Mm-hmm. Stand on the wisdom of God and not on the wisdom of people. That what does not add value because your future is determined by what the people you permit you what you permit near you, mm-hmm. the people you permit in your circle. Yeah. Why do you think Jesus only had twelve disciples? Yeah. He didn't have so many people in his. He didn't need a lot of people around him. Mm-hmm. Who are you permitting in your circle? <sighs> Good question. These are just um some questions that I want people to um to think about. Uh-huh. Because those who do not increase you will what? Eventually. Those who do not increase you will eventually decrease you. Interesting. But with the help of God. Wow. uh, Not today. I'm I'm, It's all about sowing seed. Mm -hmm. In 2023, it's harvest time. Wow. It's time to grow through leaps and bounds and mm-hmm. nurture relationships that increases you and not decreases you. I don't care if your children, Jesus did it. You know, he was he went to visit his uh his family and Mark and, and, and friends and they grew up with him. And you know, and they started to boom, give you the authority to talk like this and to teach people like this and to work all these miracles. You know what he told his disciples? Look, those that want to follow me, come with me. Yeah, but those that don't want to follow me, look, I can't do no work here because a prophet is is without honor in his own country. Yeah, Doctor Kenny, you may have frozen again. Hello, hello, Doctor Kenny. Hello, okay. hello. Yeah, there you are. There you are. Okay. Okay. We um, lost you again. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. What was the last thing you heard me say? Um, don't remember because I go into panic mode and I start texting the station. I'm losing my guest. <laughs> okay. You were no, gone for saying... like about 15 seconds again. <laughs> okay. Well, let me just leave this because I know our time is almost up. We're almost I was up. We still, that... got, we still have some time. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I was saying those who do not increase you will eventually, oh, eventually deplete you or yeah. Mm-hmm. Decrease yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Either you have to assess your relationship. Who's, 
are you in a relationship that increases you or decreasing you? You know, and I, I, I said, I said, Jesus also, and I, I always compare everything, even my professional life. I do it all the time. You know, he had family that did not believe in who he was. Mm -hmm. He didn't believe his gifts. Yeah. He didn't believe in his talent. Wow. He had friends at the same time. And when he went to visit them, yeah, they told him, who do you think you are? Working all these miracles and teaching all these people and, and, and giving all this, all this authority. So you know what Jesus said to them? He said, he said, those that follow me, my disciples, come on, let's go. Because a prophet is, is without honor in his own home, in his yeah. own country. So don't stay where you are not celebrating. Stop wasting time with, pe pe with people that tolerate you. Stay around those that celebrate you. Relationships. Even if you're in a marriage. If you're not being celebrated, you're not being appreciated, and you're, you're giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and giving who you are. Yeah. No. So many people, you know, I've known them, trust me, you know, and, and they end up finding out, you know, life just passed me by. My kids yeah. are grown. My mm -hmm. husband is the best he can be. But what about me? Who am I? Yeah. Yeah. Because either each relation, another point I want to bring out. Yeah. Each relationship will either abort your assignment or advance your assignment. Which mm -hmm. one? Is Darius Woodby with you? Annie Atwood? Sorry, they just came into the show here. Want to make sure your listeners are here. Do you see? Monica, Leona, Annie, and Darius joining us here, guys. We still have uh, five minutes left in the podcast. Oh. And uh, say hello. <laughs> Dr. Kenny is here. I'm not sure we'll be able to hear anything we've been talking about, but obviously, uh, do you all know each other? Uh, no, that's okay, but she's joining us, and that's good because we're talking about relationships. Oh, and I'm, I'm so glad, yes. Yay! And individuals, you know, you got to make a, 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 that decision. Are you a, are you with people that are bought in your relationship or advanced in your relationship? Mm -hmm. This is what we got to ask ourselves. These are various points that I'm giving. So we can make what 2023 is going to be our harvest time. Harvest time. And it's time. Take the limits off. Let them go. You got to know when to let go. Yeah. And stop feeling obligated. Mm -hmm. You know, because why? <laughs> those, like I said, those that will increase you or either they will decrease you. Yeah. Because true friendship is a what? It's a gift. It's a gift. Never demand. Mm -hmm. Are you in a relationship where you, are you being gifted? Or are you being demanded? Mm -hmm. Are they, are, are they bringing, are, are they helping you go spiritually? Personally, professionally, assess these relationships. Assess them today. Yeah. And, and you, again, I'm going to say it again. And I like to repeat myself because research have shown as humans, when we hear things two or more times, we remember. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Especially well, we, the older we get. Yeah. Well, let me see. The the, we. Oh, well, we, it is time to wrap up our show. We have our next guest who I let in early, I guess. Sorry, Annie, because we have so many people here joining us today. This is um, uh, Dr. Kenny. Say hello. <laughs> hello, Annie. Oh, okay. Hi, so, Dr. Kenny. That's why I assume there's so many other people in here. I'm like, I'll let this person in and then to see. But so <laughs> welcome to your show early. We're going to log out, say goodbye to our friend here, Dr. Kenny. Yep. We're going to get together live in just a moment. Uh, remind everyone how we can reach out to you, Dr. Kenny, please. Thank you. Yes, please. Please feel free to reach out to me at Dr. Jewel, D R J U L W E L K E N N E Y dot com. That's my website that you can go to, or you can um, connect with me by email at Dr. Jewel, D, -D, -D R J U L W E L at J K P P D dot com. Or you can reach me again at Tab uh, uh, Pastor at Tabernacle of Life. Ministries in South Orange, New Jersey. I look forward to uh, us uh, sharing with you again next week. Same time, same channel. Perfect. Thank you so much. You have a fantastic day. And to all of our listeners and viewers, thank you for joining us here today, as well as Monica, Leona, uh, and the other people that have come on in for yes. us.
Thank you yes, so much. You have you. a fantastic day, and we'll be thank right you, back with uh, more next week. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.